Hey right, guys, all right. I'm gonna. I'm literally reacting to the Mayo Direct. So this is my live reaction. So let's see if any of the leaks were right. Go ahead, turn up the volume so I can hear the direct. <laughs> Twenty seven. Such a long time ago, man. Mayo, oh boy, it's time. I've seen this on this channel already, the intro. But I can't wait. Oh my god, what is he gonna reveal? His Sans, the, the Sans Undertale card is gonna be there. And will he do more of these Mayo Directs in the future? Because this just drives even more hype. Alright, here we go. The Mayo Direct. Sorry about the TV though. This is your first time watching me. Oh, it's this! No. Continue the story. Is this a teaser for the thing? I think it is. Oh, I can't wait for it. Take as much time as you need, man. If Mary, somehow watching this, take as much time as you need. Screw that freaking notification. 2020. All right, so it will be out next year. Hello. It's me. Hello, everyone. I will be your guide for today's Mr. Mayo, Mayo Hoo Hoo. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. What you just saw was another visual teaser for Mayo and the Verde oh, Valley I'm Coliseum. Still in the of Max, Around right? the time so this presentation was right. being made, it's been about a year since the original first part of the series premiered. Wait, I think I've seen this on his oh, previous Maria. live stream. The Star Spirit Saga continues. Captain Mayo has been frozen no, in wait, space this is a new... for several months. Hold up, I gotta turn off my TV so I can he hear this. lands on an unknown planet. Within this mysterious planet lies a kingdom that's been running for several generations. However, due to previous events, Mayo and Cappy's spaceship has been destroyed. And after attempting to steal a ship that looks like the old one conveniently, they get locked up in jail! Wow, jail. Hmm. Yeah, this story needs to be reworked a little bit. <laughs> that's where that came into play! For reimagining the story, I thought about it long and hard. For the past few months, I've been dealing with a lot of personal issues that's been preventing me from making progress with the series. From giving up and almost cancelling it at one point, I honestly didn't know which oh. direction this project was going to go. As I continued to reflect and double check the plans that I had for the project, I slowly became unsatisfied from what I originally made. When it comes to my art style, it was gradually changing as the year went by, and the gaps between new uploads unfortunately got bigger. So, I concluded my analysis with this. I understand that some of you have been anticipating this project for the longest time. Hell, I wouldn't even be surprised if you actually expected a release date on this direct. I'm here to announce that I'm remastering Mayo in the Verde Valley Coliseum. From the ground up, okay, this I'm down. Means that there's no longer going to be multiple parts. In a new story. Okay, I'm down. I'm totally down. That's still something new, so I'm down. Original that was posted last year, it's still going to be here, but will now be considered as a rough draft. As I went forward with this idea, I wanted to expand the world of Verde Valley. I felt like the rough draft left so many unanswered questions that could be explored more. When it comes to character arcs, a more interesting synopsis, to even showcasing how Captain Mayo interacts with this whole new world. This new approach can open several possibilities for this project. Maybe I can include voice actors. Maybe I can collaborate with other artists. The possibilities are pretty much endless. And the only thing that's keeping me passionate about this project is all of your support. And honestly, don't worry me. I'll I keep supporting you no matter enough. what. I started out just making Super You're Mario You're so talented, Odyssey man. Posts. And I love how you make all this creativity and make it into a story. I've been dying to do something like that on ages, but now with YouTube being a, a SpaghettiOs, I don't think I can. <laughs> so. With that out of the way, here's an estimated release date. The continuation of the Star Spirit Saga, Mayo and the Verde Valley Coliseum, will premiere in 2020. Good enough. Oh no. I think crashed. Why did it crash? Why did it crash? I'm missing valuable content. Even more support to projects like the Star Spirit Saga and all things Mayo. 
Ah, uh, he's got a Patreon now. I think he had one already, but... That's right. I'm happy to announce that the official Patreon page will open shortly after this presentation. Oh, uh, so now he has a Patreon. Man, I wish I couldn't do that, but I need a job first. I need to get my, into today. lifeguarding first. Really Back when new summer comes out. I have a lot more plans in the future. Obviously, becoming when summer comes out, I mean, when summer comes benefits, around next year, including access to the official Mayo Discord server, which will open up next oh. year. Links to the Patreon. So he actually has a Discord server below. now. Thank you all for your support again. <laughs> Not just one-off Discord servers for the live streams. Okay, Before cool. I think he did talk about that last time. Here are some quick highlights that I'd like to showcase. <laughs> oh, wait, where's he going? Ah! <laughs> Ah! Oh, that's cute. Oh, who who stickers? Oh. Uh oh. What the fuck is this? Uh oh. Let's go. Okie dokie. What? Super Hoo Hoo Adventures? Bruh. All oh, these pictures on Twitter. Oh my god, everyone's doing the Hoo Hoo dance. <laughs> What the hell is this gonna be about though? I'm so interested. Oh my god. Super Hoo Hoo Adventures, bro. I'm so Introducing psyched. Super Hoo Hoo Adventures. This will be an animated adaptation based on the I Super knew it! Mario That's what the Mario movie is gonna the be based off of. The originally ran in the Nintendo Power magazine back in 1992. This will also be the first series I will ever make that is not canon to the Star Spirit saga. The <laughs> series will follow the same exact story as the comics did, but it may have a little bit of twists here and there. While the comic series has been adapted... That's interesting, because the Mario movie is gonna do the exact same thing. It's gonna go based off something like that. Videos today. I had this series in the works for quite some time now. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> he even put it there! Oh, God. What was I saying? Coming in 2020. There's no way he's releasing anything this year. This year is almost over, so... If he did... Man, I feel bad for him pushing it out to this year. Mayo collab in 20... He yeah, actually doing a collab! Oh, the space. He in space. Mr. Hoo-Hoo's in Galactic Adventure. Oh, oh, this is a collab? What's the collab going to be about? Is it for fans or just other people joining in? Like other, like his close friends or whatever joining in or other YouTubers helping out? We're approaching the end, but I hope all of you are excited for what's oh, so to we won't know until January, okay. Without further ado, I have one more announcement to make today. Oh God, so here we go. So stay till the end. Thank you so much! Bye, Hoo Hoo Man. Alright, what's the last announcement? It's just punched back. <laughs> this is the new announcement. The Void. Into the Void coming soon to theaters. <laughs> I forgot about that story! I so for I also forgot about the artistic thing. Oh my god, I thought he was joking. He said he's not gonna bring it back. What? It is? He's still continuing it. And that's it. That is it. Oh my god. Mayo, you're a freaking mad lad. Okay, guys, you have no idea how excited I am for this. So many things. I did not know he would have so much projects ready for 2020. Oh my god, I'm so excited, and I can't wait to witness the mayo. Oh my god, man. So, uh, let's let's go through my thoughts of the direct. Okay, so, Valerie Coliseum being reworked with a new story. I completely understand that, and I'm totally fine with it. I think that's a really, that's a, like, a good plan. Because, yeah, the art style has, his art style has changed since, uh, when he did post the first part of Valerie Coliseum. And, uh... 
Yeah, I guess it was a bit dry. I didn't notice it too much because I thought the second one would elaborate more after Neo gets breaking out and the princess saves him. Maybe, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that original story was going to go first. But I guess you could say now that the first one that he actually made is going to be a, a pilot to what's to come. I guess. I don't know. But that's pretty interesting. So I can't wait for him to do it and make sure. That, I hope Mayo takes his time. And make sure he has fun doing it because, like, why would you do work if you don't enjoy it, right? I've been trying to create something, like, similar to that. Not really. Like, like I'm trying to make my own story. Like, with Minecraft, I tried to do that once, like, you guys tried to, like... You, you wanted Minecraft to come back after um, the uh -oh, SpaghettiOs I tricked you with my Baby Marco meme review. And yeah, then it just slowly died down from there. So I tried to make like original fun story with Minecraft. It didn't really turn out. Messed up journey when I finally got RPG Maker. Like my original thing with our, uh, freaking messed up journey. I don't really talk about it much. If you remember from the um, trailer, I said it would come out summer. Didn't upload it because then the T-Tour game took priority. And then I'm like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to release this game. This game seems Literally, not as much well done as the T-Tar game did. And not as much well done as the Mayo game was. So, I just decided, you know what, I'll put it on the back burner. I'll come to back to it later. Yeah, because I always wanted to create, like, an original story that people can take part of and watch and whatever. And I'm glad Mayo is, like, Mayo is doing it and in a new or an original way, and I like it. I haven't seen anyone else really do something like Mayo has with, um, well, what I've seen. I don't watch everything on YouTube, per se, because I do have a life outside of YouTube. But um, Mayo has a mix of memes and then lore. I like it. I like it a lot. I think of him as a role model. I really do. And maybe one day I'm going to have his just as good art style as Mayo. And hopefully get a whole fan base around something like a story I made with Messed Up Journey, but I know that won't happen for many years to come. I probably won't even go back to Messed Up Journey, but I just thought I'll put that out there for people who was wondering about the Messed Up Journey game, if you're watching from my channel. Anyway, now to the rest of the things. Okay, so Little Miss and Hoo Hoo. Oh my god. I can't wait to see what kind of shenanigans is that. And the basic, I think it's going to be pretty much like those little short ones like he's done before. Which I found hilarious either way. So I don't know if it's going to be similar to that or something completely different. Will it be longer? Will it be shorter? I don't know. But I, I, I'm probably going to be watching that a lot. Every time it comes up, I'm going to be like, yo, no, I'm getting on that. <laughs> and um, so, okay, what else was there? There was the, the comic book retelling and the Super Hoo Hoo Adventures. I, I like that. That's going to be really funny to see the new comics in like a modern day art style, I guess. And uh, with his own twist on it, which... Nice. I give that an A+. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see everything that he's doing. And the Patreon. I'm surprised he didn't have it before. I thought he did have a Patreon before. But I guess he didn't. But now he has. And then... People will be able to ask the Discord server next year once they go support him on Patreon. Um, if It actually should be live by the time I upload this reaction and thoughts video. So go check it out. Go check out Mayo and then go support him. Please, I want him to succeed. This guy's amazing. Please go support him. Like, literally, leave my channel and go support Mayo. Because my channel is now going to be dead as of, the, of January 1st, 2020. Because of... You know, God, I don't know if Mayo's gonna do the exact same thing, but uh, just make sure you go support him uh, more than anything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that Patreon's are really cool. The Discord, he actually has a permanent Discord server starting next year. That'll be that'll be epic. So and then artistic too. Oh, artistic too. Oh, I don't know why I completely forgot about it. I was like, oh, it's a clear thing. Ugh, what's going to happen next? And then just went nowhere. And I literally had this in mind when making the Mayo game. 
with that uh, thing that possessed Adeline. I don't know what it is. Oh, probably only Mayo knows what it is, I think. So whatever that is had some influence with the Biyoshisaurus time travel, I guess. With the Mayo game plot. It's not, a it's not canon or anything. It's like my own thing that I made. Boom. Decides to make it canon. Okay. That's cool, but please don't make it canon. It's really stupid. Anyway, so yeah, I can't wait for artistic too. Um, artistic. Remember, I'm saying artistic. Okay, and the last thing I want to talk about is Mr. Hoo-Hoo's Inter intergalactic adventure. Oh my god, I'm. I know we're in the dark about this until next year, but. Bro, I can't wait to see what that has to offer. So much mystery about most of this stuff. And I love it. I love mystery. I don't know. If you know me by now. I love mystery stuff. I just... I love solving the lore. So, yeah. But um, the freaking... Uh, the collaboration piece. Intergalactic Adventure. Will it be... The fan, where fans submit their own little video thing or whatever and give it to Mayo or like SMG4 did, does sometimes, and or is it gonna be like a collaboration with other art YouTubers or animation YouTubers, which either or seems pretty epic and I can't wait to see which direction he goes into it. So now, I think that's pretty much it. Anyway, so I think this direct was amazing. Uh, I, a lot of things I did not expect coming. We didn't get any new cards, so Sands was debunked. So our sources were right all along. New cards released were fake. We, I, I knew the hacker was right about something. Anyway, so I like to thank you all so much for listening, babbling on to my reaction. Of the Mayo Direct. Go sub to Mayo right freaking now because my channel is dead soon as next year happens. So make sure you go subscribe to Mayo. I will put his Twitter in the description as well as also his YouTube channel because long live, prosper, our Lord and Savior, Mr. Hoo Hoo Man. Okay? We need, we need him to survive. So thank you all so much for watching. Without further ado, have a good time gaming, guys. Peace out and have an awesome day.